Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mobile Suit Black Man. Today we are taking a look at the high grade Nightingale. There's a lot of mystique and hype surrounding both this particular model kit and the mobile suit itself. For most builders and fans of Gundam, there's a lot of respect and adoration for Char as a pilot and the mobile suits that he does see into battle. Sazabi is definitely a rite of passage in whatever scale you build it in. And the other side of that coin is the Nightingale. We don't see this model kit or this mobile suit animated, but there is a lot surrounding its existence as being beefier, bigger, and better than the Sazabi. And quite frankly, this kit turns heads for that reason. It is large in charge, and to scale, it is bigger than even the Penelope and the Cassi, which have been recently released as high-grade kits. It's bigger than pretty much every other high-grade except when you get to the mobile armor. So we'll take a close look at some of the detail work that went into my custom paint job as well as some of the things that makes this one of the most unique builds I've done in quite some time. Prior to the release of the High Grade Nightingale, most of the time when you thought of a Nightingale model kit, you were thinking of the RE100 Nightingale, that is the 1100 scaled Nightingale. The High Grade has been a fantastic build and incredibly fun to paint in detail. Of course, for a little bit of background, the Nightingale is the reimagined version of Char's Sazabi from Char's Counterattack. The Nightingale was developed for the novelized version that has a few differences from the animated film. The overwhelming theme with this mobile suit is size. It is big. This is the largest high-grade mobile suit ever built and sold and it's great up until you get to the mobile armors you have the high grade nightingale followed by the penelope and Cassi gundams and it's really welcome to the 1144 scale we've gotten some big kits and this gives me hope that they will continue to take chances and develop models based on mobile suits that we might not have had the opportunity to interact with, build in detail just yet. The box that the high grade Nightingale comes in is epic. It is the same type of box you would see for the high grade Meteor or any of the mega sized kits. There are a lot of runners, however the kit comes together very cleanly, smoothly, and there's no problems with the build at all out of box. One thing I knew is that I did not want my Nightingale to appear too similar to the Sazabi. I wanted to do it justice the way that the High New Gundam has a set of colors that make it a distinctly different suit from the New Gundam. I wanted my Nightingale to be distinctly different than the Sazabi, so I chose Char's classic pink and red color scheme from the One Year War to bring my Nightingale to life. To accomplish my paint scheme, I went with my trusted and favorite paint, the Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color, Gundam colors, specifically the Char Pink and Char Red. I made the choice to use different types of primer to give me slightly different tones of the Char Red. And it may not be clear in the video, but I used black 
primer on some sections with the char red as well as a white primer and gray primer for others just to give a slightly different tone. The decals used for this kit were again my mainstay set of custom decals by Delphi Decal based out of Korea. They look great, they went on well, the quality is very nice and I definitely recommend them if you're looking for custom decals for your different mobile suits. There was a small amount of masking needed to achieve some of the color separation but ultimately the kit is very well designed and it's possible to paint this very quickly knowing that the um, burniers and their layers are actually separate parts the funnels actually are able to be removed from the binders which is a very cool feature the real grade Sazabi shared that feature where you can remove the funnels and display them if you like outside of the binders very very cool for such a big kit I was not expecting it to have a lot of mobility or range of motion but the gimmicks included are very nice and very cool again the funnels are able to be removed from the binders there are also the sub arms that do come out of the front skirts that are able to hold additional beam sabers the rifle does have a bipod not sure why I doubt the Nightingale needs to lay prone to shoot but it does include a working bipod on the rifle and the head does have quite a bit of range of motion despite the large shape and awkward size it lacks in its ability to be posed dynamically it does make up for in its sheer size you won't have many larger high grades on your shelf once you complete the nightingale again aside from mobile armors and catapult decks this is as big as it gets if you don't feel keen on painting this kit it definitely would benefit from having a layer of top coat and some panel lining and possibly decals just to give this a little bit more character than the out of box presence. The red is very beautiful but again a bit of top coat will just bring it to the next level rather than having it look like a large barren plastic toy on your shelf. I'm very satisfied that I went through and painted this kit and specifically painted it with a set of colors that I thought would complement the real grade high new Gundam that has also just recently been released. This is part of a narrative that is the epic duel and struggle between Armor Ray and Char Aznable. I wanted to do the kit justice in bringing that narrative to life with the model kits. Step in this project will be to complete the real grade high new Gundam and the hyper mega bazooka launcher and pair them together just to create again a beautiful vignette of what that battle may have looked like that we did not see animated between Armoro Ray and Char Asmol from Beltorchica's Children. I will admit I'm a bit biased, I love Char and Char's mobile suits, but I will say that if you must have one high grade, consider the Nightingale. For the money you are getting a large and impressive model and mobile suit. And if you love customizing and painting, you have a great canvas to work with with the Nightingale. All in all, I cannot recommend this high grade enough. Definitely try to get your hands on it if you can and if it's within your budget. And this leaves me wondering, where does Bandai go from here with high grade kits? Stay tuned and we'll find out together.